My name is David Fields, and I'm here in Fredericksburg to see the Buddy Holly Band tonight. I fly this King Air 350 out of Midland, Texas, and I flew it in here with uh, Joe Morris, who flew for Continental. I flew for American Airlines. I've owned this airplane for two and a half years. I use it for business and pleasure. The airplane can cruise up to 35,000 feet and will go approximately 335 knots, which is close to 375 statute miles per hour. It has a range of almost 2,000 miles. It's equipped with the newest radio equipment, which is the Garmin G1000 NXI, a, moving, a couple of moving map displays, uh, very user friendly, and we just have fun with the airplane in both business and pleasure. This is the most popular business airplane in the world. There have been almost 8,000 of them made since the di design's inception in 1964. And it has the greatest safety record of any business airplane on Earth. This airplane, the Beechcraft King Air 350, has a total of 10 seats, two pilot seats up front and eight seats in the back. It has a range of almost 2,000 nautical miles. And I have uh, installed a package called Scandia in it, which uh, makes it even quieter. You'll notice the five bladed propellers instead of either three or four bladed propellers. This comes with the new uh, upgraded engines. The old airplane, the older engines, would go about 300 to 310 knots. This one will go about 335 knots. Uh, so the airplane flies high and fast and is very comfortable. It's heated, air conditioned, pressurized, and it's quiet for the passengers. Uh, it has an excellent autopilot system on it, so it makes my job easy. David's going to show me his King Air 350. You can see that this drops down the door and it has built-in stairs and he keeps it locked and we're about to go into his private plane. As I she boarded the plane, the first thing that hit me was the rich, luxurious scent of leather upholstery. It really hits you. And this is what the inside of the cabin looks now like. we're in the cockpit with David, and David's a retired professional airline pilot, and he's turning on the avionics. And what he says that means, tell me what that means, David. That means all the radios and the three big screens that you see in front of you. They give us the navigation uh, information, the engine the gauges are right here and the basic flight instrument package on each side is now booting up just like your home computer takes it a few seconds to get going and it will pop up here in just a minute and let's see we'll we'll put in direct to uh san antonio you're gonna take me home dave a s a t <laughs> enter enter now it's drawn a magenta line from Fredericksburg, which is T82 or Tango 82, down to San Antonio, and that's the line we would fly going directly to San Antonio. How long is the flight to San Antonio? Well, let's see how many miles it is. It's still thinking about it. It will, uh, the distance will pop up up here, uh, should when it gets through thinking about it. The distance from Tango 82 or Fredericksburg to San Antonio is 48.3 miles and since this airplane uh, covers about five miles a minute it would be about uh, a 10 to 13 minute flight. Uh, radios and displays right here and they, sh they give you, a, they show you a lot of information. The little towers right here are exactly that. They are radio towers. And the display has what's called synthetic vision, 
where you can see the rises in the hills back there and you can see water you can see rivers and the ocean and the Gulf of Mexico if you fly close to them and over on this center screen we can vary the range and you can take a look at the whole United States if you want to and it gives you um, a big advantage because this will paint or show thunderstorms so you can plan if you have a thunderstorm between here and El Paso like here it will show up right here the thunderstorm will and you can plan your flight around the thunderstorm. Now that I've seen David's King Air, he is going to close up the air stair door and lock it. And then the plane is literally parked on the runway, the tarmac, and just like a parking lot, all these private little planes. This isn't so little, it's a 10 seater. Now she's locked up, safe and secure. This is uh, an aileron. There's one on each side and they move opposite to each other and they cause the airplane to bank left or right. If you turn the wheel left, the left aileron goes up and the left wing will go down, the right wing will go up and you turn left.